Certain cabinet ministers have allegedly tried to cover up the truth behind the death of firefighter Muhammad Adib Muhammad Qasim. AMNO Supreme Council member Datuk Lokman Noor Adam made that claim, adding that these ministers, including Minister of National Unity P. Weitha Morti, have pressured Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad not to reveal the content of Adib's post-mortem report for fear it will trigger racial riots. Kita nak beritahu rakyat Malaysia ni, uh, tu khususnya orang Melayu, we are rational people. Eh. We don't simply, we don't simply go on riots. Eh. He said that during a rally demanding justice for Adib on Friday night near Sogo shopping complex. The group then lodged a police report at the Dangwangi Police District Headquarters urging Dr Mahadeer, Home Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin and Attorney General Tommy Thomas to investigate the nature of Adib's death. Lokman claimed the post-mortem report will likely reveal that Adib died from injuries suffered after a beating. Susulan daripada maklumat yang kami terima itu disahkan dengan pengumuman Tan Sri Muhyiddin yang mengatakan bahawa beliau telah berbincang dengan uh, Tommy Thomas, AG kita untuk mewujudkan inquest. Sedangkan uh, mereka boleh mencari empat individu yang bertanggungjawab cuba membunuh Adib. Tetapi tiba-tiba bila uh, bila apa dipanggil? Bila Adib meninggal dunia Tiba-tiba empat individu yang merupakan orang yang sudah didakwa kerana uh, cuba membunuh Adib ini tiba-tiba bukan saksi yang membunuh Adib. Uh, jadi ini satu satu perkara yang kami nampak macam ada tak kena, eh? ada tak kena. The case management on the inquest to determine the cause of Adib's death has been fixed on January 18. The Prime Minister has since said he will only decide whether or not to keep Weta in his cabinet after receiving the full findings from the inquest, despite public pressure demanding the Minister of National Unity to be sacked. Mundur, mundur. Mundur, mundur.